The causative agent for malaria is a parasite called Plasmodium. There are 200 species, but only five affect humans. The basic characteristics of the parasite are that they have chromosomes in the nucleus and genetic material in the mitochondria and apicoplasts. Also, on a molecular level, Plasmodium uses plasmepsin enzyme to degrade red blood cells hemoglobin. While inside the mosquito host, female and male Plasmodium sexually reproduce. While inside the human host, the parasite changes properties of the red blood cells and eventually kills them. The transmission of malaria into a human comes from a mosquito bite. Plasmodium sporozoites are in the mosquito saliva, which is injected into the human host bloodstream. These sporozoites go to the liver and replicate within hepatocytes. The plasmodiums either stay in the liver and become hypnozoites that lie dormant, or become merozoites, which then go back into the bloodstream. Merozoites infect red blood cells and grow into trophozoites, which mature into schizonts, which produce more merozoites and kill the red blood cell. Some merozoites differentiate into male or female sexual forms called gametocytes. When a mosquito bites the host human, these gametocytes enter the mosquito and infect it, furthering the transmission of the disease. Studies show that there are three main environmental risk factors associated with malaria. The first is the season of the year, with the highest rates of infection being in the first few months. Second is the ecological setting. If a village is close to a water source, specifically warm, still water that is best for mosquitoes to reproduce in, they have a higher risk of infection. The final risk factor is housing and proximity to infected individuals. In the areas of high risk, people who live in the same or nearby house are most likely to be infected. Also in these areas, it's common for multiple children to share beds, which could lead to them all developing the disease. The signs and symptoms for malaria are grouped into two categories, uncomplicated malaria and severe malaria. The symptoms for uncomplicated malaria include a sensation of cold or shivering, fever, headaches, vomiting, or sweats with tiredness. For severe malaria, those include fever and chills, impaired consciousness, multiple convulsions, respiratory distress, abnormal bleeding, and clinical jaundice. These symptoms will usually begin 10 to 15 days after exposure and will typically last 6 to 10 hours occurring every second day. If these symptoms are not treated, it can be fatal. One way to diagnose malaria is through the Rapid Diagnostic Test, or the RDT. This test quickly detects the specific malaria antigens in the person's blood and is a useful alternative to microscopy in situations where reliable microscopic diagnosis is not available. One advantage to the Rapid Diagnostic Test is that you produce high-quality microscopy with quicker results. One advantage is that you may not be able to detect less common species of malaria. This is distinguishable from other diseases due to the transmission of an infected female mosquito. Malaria can be suspected in an unwell person living in malaria endemic area, such as the Sub-Saharan Africa. The treatment of malaria includes several drugs, but they are antimalarials and antibiotics used together for the prevention or the treatment of malaria. There are options among these drugs that are available for pregnant women, those with renal failure, it can be given as an oral medication or as an IV medication. The downsides to these drugs are an upset stomach, cannot be breastfed while using, and cannot be used with certain neurological issues. There are other downsides that are more specific to the drugs that your doctor would tell you. Because malaria is potentially fatal, it needs to be treated immediately. There is research involving genetic engineering right now, using mosquitoes that carry a gene that is resistant to carrying disease like malaria. And by using this genetic engineering, we're hoping to transfer that gene into these new mosquitoes that will hopefully replace the wild mosquitoes with these modified mosquitoes. In 1943, Disney released a short animated film that's about 10 minutes long featuring the seven dwarves and how to prevent malaria. 
The video starts with the seven dwarves watching another film that shows the transmission of malaria. And now the seven dwarves will go on this mission to destroy the causes of malaria by destroying the environment which will kill the mosquitoes and prevent malaria from being transmitted. Can't be too hard on Disney though because this is a 1943 film 